Hey everybody, I just taking this uh, video of my 55 gallon aquarium with my lionfish. I took one the other night, uh, posted it and everything. Just trying out the camera and all, but I figured I'd take me a better video of it this time. Uh, let's see how big he is and, uh, you know, just kind of show you what he does and He's a good size right now. Uh, it's been, he's in my 55, he's by himself. I'm thinking about getting another one. This is the male. See, he's got the horns on top of his head right there. The male has the horns, and the female don't have no horns at all. These are poisonous. The top fins and these fins on the outside of his, I guess you call them dorsal fins and all. If they, if they jab you, they can really put a pain on you there, they swell your hand up or whatever. He don't bother me much, I'll stick my hand in there, he'll come running over there thinking I'm going to feed him, but uh, I just kind of shoo him away. I had some anemones in here, they started doing pretty good, so I had taken them out of my 125 and put them in here to see if I can, you know, revive them and get them doing better. They started looking better and everything, so I put them back in my 125, so he's in here by himself. Uh, like I said, I don't have nothing in here but him and a couple snails and whatever's on the live rock. Uh, but I just wanted to uh, take a picture of the 55 gallon aquarium with the lionfish and put it on YouTube and show everybody. Uh, I was going to show everybody how I got my homemade DIY two liter Pepsi bottle crackle barrel butter dish. Uh, how it operates but I thought I had fixed the motor on it and uh, I put the propeller back in it and uh, it would turn for a little bit and then it would stop so I don't know if it was the, I don't know if it's the housing with the with the you know power or is it the propeller with the magnet so I, I don't know which one it which one is at fault so <laughs> I don't have the skimmer in here no more and uh, aquarium still staying pretty clean like I said there's only one fish in here so that shouldn't be a problem, but I do want to get something, another skimmer or get mine working. But I can't find the pumps like I used to have. The pumps that uh, that I was using for my homemade skimmer had uh, had an outlet you can screw a uh, three-quarter inch, you know, male adapter on top, and then the inlet was, you know, down on the side, and it had a space you can put a. Uh, it had like a little nipple thing that you could put uh, put a little air line on it and uh, you know where to adjust the airflow to make bubbles and I can't find none of them no more. It was from Petco and it was a, it was a Petco model number 225 and uh, I can't locate one of them anywhere. I can't find any pumps that's got the uh, the air line adapter thing to it on the nozzle unless you get one of the power heads that hang up top and on. I don't want one of them. I want one that sits in the bottom of a, you know the aquarium or something like that to uh, pump water so I had to keep looking but if anybody knows where I can find one I sure would appreciate it and let me know uh, now he's gonna get over here where he always guts and uh, wait on being fed that's what he does when he when he's waiting to be fed he'll kind of hang with his head down sit there forever and he'll barely move around unless I go up there to him so all right guys I appreciate it let me uh if you have any information on the pumps or anything like that, let me know. And uh, I'm going to try to make some good videos here sooner or later. I'm going to redo my 125. I'm going to put new sand in it and try to rearrange the rocks where it looks better. And <clears throat> bought me another an enemy and bought me two mercury vapor lights, uh, the kind, uh, the halogen lights, the kind that you set outside. I got two casings, but I just needed two bulbs. So I don't have a whole lot of money to go out and spend you know, two, three hundred dollars for a light fixture to get corals and stuff. So I'm trying to do all these DIY things and see if they do just as good. So if anybody has any ideas or any opinions or, you know, information that can help me out, I sure would appreciate it. And I'm trying to find some, uh, uh, shoot, uh, uh, anemones and stuff that somebody might have too many of and they want to thin it out. If you could, let me know, and uh, uh, I'll try to see if I can 
pay for it or whatever. Uh, just want to kind of dress up my aquarium a little bit. Nothing fancy, nothing outrageous. Just uh, I just want to get it to look, you know, pretty nice. But like I said, this is my 50, 55 in the front room. So there's the overall view of it right there. Let's see. I'm trying to trying to see if I can zoom it in here. It's a little there we go. There's my 55 gallon aquarium. I don't know, I think it got a little blurry. And there's Abby. Abby! Abby! Hey girl! That's Abby. She's a cockapoo. I mean, uh, sorry, a Maltese. <laughs> we used to have a cockapoo. That's a little old Abby there. We've had her for a long time. She's got a little bit of arthritis in her back, but she's, uh, she's a big baby. Alright guys, thanks a lot. And we'll try to see y'all later.